Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm a data migration specialist with Import2. Import2 is partnered with Pipedrive to ensure a quick and painless migration of your legacy CRM data into the Pipedrive platform. When you click Start Import from your Pipedrive account, you have initiated the full migration of your legacy CRM data into your new Pipedrive account. I'll walk you through the import process and address the most common questions you might have while going through the data migration with us. Once the import is finished, we will send you an email confirmation so you know when it's ready to review the results. We know that the process starts so quick that you might feel you don't have any control over it. The first question that usually pops up is, can I undo the import? The short answer is yes. Simply reach out to our support via chat or email to ask us to remove the imported data, and we will delete all the records imported by us. Rest assured, we only remove the records imported by us, so in case you had any other data in your Pipedrive account already, this will remain intact. Okay, now that you know you have control over the import, let's address how to set up your Pipedrive account to ensure a seamless migration. There are a few things which will help ensure the data is imported accurately. The first is your users. Make sure you've set up the users in your Pipedrive account with the same email addresses as in your source CRM. This will ensure we can assign the record ownership correctly during the migration. If the users are not set up, the ownership will default to the user's credentials that you used to initiate the import. Next up are the pipelines and stages associated to your deals. We check your Pipedrive pipeline and stage names for a match to your source data. So if you have those set up with the same names as your old CRM, then the deals will be imported to the same pipeline and stage automatically during the import. If you do not have these pipelines and stages set up, then the deals will be imported to the first stage of the default pipeline that Pipedrive provides to you. And what about field mappings? By default, we import the fields which are standard in Pipedrive, but it's very common to need custom fields in the migration, so in this case, please be sure that you've created those custom fields that you need in Pipedrive first, and then let us know so that we can add those into the import for you. When we apply the mappings, we will need to revert the current import that you started and restart the import from scratch in order for those mappings to appear for you. You might also wonder what record types are included in the data migration. You can check the total records link on your import page here, which will expand to show all the record types that are supported for your specific data migration. At this stage, you might be wondering how long will it take to complete? Typically, the import is complete within 24 hours, but this can vary depending on how big your database is and if there are any validation errors that pop up. We'll be in touch with you if there are any errors which need your attention in order to finish the migration. Now that the process has become more clear, you might be wondering if there's a cost. Pipedrive will sponsor the migration for you for up to 100,000 records and up to 5 custom field mappings. If your database is larger than 100,000 records, we'll reach out to you directly via email to discuss the quote and next steps. If you have more than 5 custom fields to map, we can review the full list of mappings you need and provide you with a quote. If you need to get in touch or report an issue with the results of your import, please feel free to reach out to us anytime, either by chat or by email. Thanks for listening!